Alright, hello y'all. Sup y'all. Sup YouTube. Sup YouTube. Uh, oh, uh, in my last video about noise reduction in raw therapy, I forgot to mention something, which is, uh, I showed a uh, noise reduction and I forgot to mention, you know, I, I showed the median filter here and I forgot to mention that after you enable the median filter, if you're going to use the median filter, after you enable it, you should uh, probably want to turn on this micro contrast up here. And that will uh, help to mitigate the smoothening effects of the median filter and bring back the appearance of some detail there, right? So anyway, let's have a look at how that works. Uh, but first, uh, I'm thinking about deleting my old, I have like an overview video of raw therapy that you could watch now, but you might not be able to watch it for long because I want to delete it and uh, probably replace it with a new one. Maybe uh, that would be too long though. So I'm thinking about breaking it up into parts where I could cover, say like the basic tab here in one section and then the details tab here in another section and then the color tab here in another section, etc. right? But, uh, now I'm, you know, I'm not an expert at the, I don't know how this stuff all works under the hood, but I just want to do it for demonstration purposes so that people downloading and installing this for the first time can just have a look at it in action because when I first got it, I didn't really know what to do uh, starting off. It took me a while to, you know, figure out what I was wanting to do in this. So anyway, if you would like to see that, uh, my motivation to make videos is limited. I have like no subscribers or anything like that and I don't know how many people watch it. So if you'd like to see that, just leave a comment or if you want to like the video or subscribe or any of those types of things, it will uh, enhance my motivation to do it or to do it quicker. Somewhat anyway, you know, I might still not be doing it that quickly, but that's what I want to do. So let's have a look at this. Now, before I get started, this is a picture. I'll turn on the info here so you can see it's Pentax Q7. So this is a, uh, and it's ISO 100, but that is, you know, a small sensor. So it's a pretty noisy picture, even at the base ISO. And I think the base ISO of this might be 80. But anyway, this is 100 and there's there's quite a bit of noise. So I thought I'd pick a noisier picture for demonstrating noise reduction here, right? Uh, so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. And I've got the cool Pentax, I think it's 15 to 45 f2.8 lens. That's kind of equivalent to a 70 to 200 f2.8 in its field of view anyway. And it's great fun, but you're not going to have your mind blown by the picture quality from these little Pentax Q cameras, right? Like, I mean, they're they're great fun, but they're competitive with the better phones. I think it's better than a good phone, but uh, they're in that kind of category, right? Now, for this picture, I've already done most of my adjustments, so I'm just going to be showing you the sharpening and noise reduction with that median filter micro contrast. And the only thing that I would usually do after that is I might play with the color a little bit more for a final adjustment and then go and uh, maybe play with the contrast one last time and that will be about it. And for this picture, I don't know how much playing around I'm going to do because like I said, the image quality is limited and it's just, you know, a picture of a church sitting there. It's no big deal. And uh... all right, let's get going. So over to the details tab here. I will, okay, sharpening. I've already got it on. And I've already got the amount set to 220. The default is 200 and with halo control off. So we're at the default settings there. I'll turn it off. And I'll turn it on again. And you can see the effect is pretty subtle there at the default settings. I'm going to turn that up to 220 where I had it. And I'm going to turn up the radius because this is like... This is low ISO, but given the small sensor size, it's kind of like what a high ISO, high ISO picture would be like. So I'm going to probably leave it about there. Uh, 
turn the radius up, like you use a higher radius for these uh, noisier kind of pitchers. And I'm going to leave it there. That looks a bit crunchy, but I'm going to leave it there for now. And I'm going to turn on halo control, which I do pretty much every time. And I'm going to leave the sharpening like that. And before we move on to the noise reduction, I think you can probably notice there's some pretty bad purple fringing here, like you would get on most uh, compact cameras, cameras with a smaller sensor, they have this real nasty purple fringing. And uh, that can happen on your big camera too, obviously, but it's really bad on these smaller sensors. And I think there's a bit of blue in there too. So let's go down to the defringe tool here and turn it on. This is the default setting. Now usually it would look like this and you would click equalizer to see this. And it's, it's a bit glitchy. Sometimes it doesn't show the whole equalizer for a second. Now there it is, see? Anyway, that's the default is with the purple all the way up. So that will uh, remove the purple fringing. And if I turn it down, you can see. All right, so you could set it just to where the purple disappears and leave it there. And I thought I could see some blue in here too. There's a bit of subtle blue. There you go, blue fringe. Let's turn the blue up a little bit. And that's gone. And purple and blue. Okay, it's looking pretty good. You can play with this, uh, but that looks pretty good to me. Now let's do the noise reduction. So, <clears throat> in the last video, I showed you how I turn on noise reduction. Oops, before I, I'll turn it off and I'll zoom in to 100%. And you can see there's quite a lot of noise. Noise here in the dark parts, noise in the light parts, noise everywhere, right? Oh, and also I forgot to mention the, before we do that, turn on the sharpening contrast mask. Make sure the sky is like basically fully dark. And the parts you want sharpened should be light. I'm going to turn that to 25 and just sharpen what's light here. Turn that off. Now we're really ready to do the noise reduction. Okay, so we're zoomed in. Click noise reduction on. And at the default settings, it's only removing color noise. Oh, no, it's not because I've... Okay, at the default settings. Turn it off there. I had it. I had my previous settings on there. Okay, so it's off. We're going to turn it on. And at the default settings, it's only removing color noise. And in the last video, I told you that you can uh, drag the luminance slider all the way to 100%. You'll see the image get incredibly blurry. And then drag detail recovery up until the detail comes back. But if the noise starts coming back, you've gone too far and I can see noise I've gone too far I'm gonna drag this down just below 90 uh, you know the the better your picture is the more you'll be able to drag up the detail recovery the noisier and the, the worst signal to noise ratio you have the less detail recovery you'll be able to use 89 is as, far, as high as we're going to be able to go here with this picture for sure. And this is low ISO on this camera. Now with this camera, when you get up to like ISO 1600, which is the highest I will use on this camera, I'm putting detail recovery sometimes around 30 and getting a bit of a smooth picture, but no noise. And I'm not destroying any detail. Now it is smoothening it, right? So anyway... That's what I find works, works best here. Set luminance noise reduction to 100%. Drag detail recovery up until you see the details come back. And if you see the noise come back, you've gone too far. I often leave 
chrominance at the default settings, but if your picture has a lot of fine colors, like like small leaves or moss or something with very fine colors and color gradations, you'll see that deteriorate at the default chrominance settings. Um, so if your picture is low ISO and not much noise, turn the chrominance noise reduction all the way off and see how that looks. But if you need chrominance noise reduction, but you need to mitigate the deleterious effect of it on your color, use this curve, pull down the, this is reducing the amount of chrominance noise reduction in the colorful parts while keeping it high up in the less colorful parts. And you can reduce that too, right? And with a picture that has a lot of fine colors in it, I'll often bring this down and bring this down, you know, and even bring this down. But I'm going to leave it pretty much where it was there for this picture. This is a noisy picture and leave it at the default settings there. But if you find that, you know, sometimes I turn this on, on a, a, a good picture with a lot of fine colors in it and the chrominance noise reduction smears them and I have to use the curve to make sure it's not doing that. Okay, so now having done that, and we're gonna turn on the median filter, but before we do, let's also like, okay, we can see there's, the noise is basically gone. There's some pretty bad stuff going on here, but I'm not gonna deal with that now in this video. I'm not gonna deal with it at all, actually. <laughs> okay, so there's a bit of noise reduction, artifacts and noise still going on there. Let's see if it looks any better at one of these other demosaicing settings, LMM, LMMSE. That looks a bit smoother, or maybe IGV. Yeah, IGV I think is a bit smoother. That might be all placebo, but you know, I think it's a bit smoother. And Okay, so we're gonna now turn on the median filter and that's gonna smoothen out any remaining noise and also it's gonna have a slightly softening effect on the picture. Now it isn't getting rid of any detail. I'll turn it off and then turn it on again. It isn't getting rid of any detail, but it does make the picture look a tiny bit softer. Uh, if your picture isn't very noisy, you probably don't have to turn that on. It will appear sharper without it, even though it isn't really sharper. It will appear sharper, and usually I will take that. But for this picture, I mean, it's not that great. Anyway, I'm going to turn the median filter on, and to mitigate its effects, I'm going to turn on micro contrast. And remember in sharpening, we set our contrast threshold to 25. I'm going to set it to the same here. I'm actually going to turn it up like one or two more. There, put it at 26. And the quantity of this I'll turn up a little bit. And we'll look at it there without the micro contrast and with. We can do with a little bit more even, I think. Yeah, it is helping mitigate the softening. Now let's go back to before our median filter. And after median filter and micro contrast. See, the effect of median filter hasn't really been that bad. But it does get to smooth out any remaining noise and artifacts in this picture, which isn't that great anyway. And so uh, let's let's go all the way back to uh, before we did any of this. And, uh, and then disable. Sharpening, micro contrast, 
noise reduction. There we go. I had too many steps to go back all the way. Disable them. And then see. Looks pretty good. I think we did a pretty good job. Oh, this is, uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, this picture's not great, but it looks like we did a pretty decent job. And, uh, so that's it for this video, and, uh, I'll be back soon. I'm gonna do another video soon, one last noise reduction video about the, uh, oh, the wavelet denoise. So, I'll be back with that next time. And the last step we have to do here with this picture is just, uh, rotate it. Alright, peace.